using a topographer for contact lens fitting. Using a topographer can have some advantages over using keratometry. In this video, we will show you how a topographer can help you pick out the best lens for your patient. Here is an eye that has been captured using the Medmont E300 topographer. There are many different layers of data that can be added or removed from the base photo. Here we've added the simulated keratometry readings, from which the topography color map is generated. The axial curvature map displays the radius of curvature in millimeters, indicating how flat or steep the corneal surface is. The scale is on the left hand side. These readings can be read in either millimeters or diopters, depending on the practitioner's preference. We can even simulate a 3D model of the cornea, which enables the practitioner to get a better idea of the corneal curvature and its corresponding contact lens fitting. We also have a summary on the right hand side with additional properties, including flat and steep Ks, HVID, which is horizontal visible iris diameter, and pupil size. Although a keratometer does give you the basic readings for fitting contact lenses, the readings are only taken from the central three millimeters of the cornea. A topographer will illustrate the whole corneal surface. Topography can also be used to assess the non-invasive tear breakup time, which can help inform your lens choice. For this, the topographer uses the myers, which are reflected on the cornea, to analyze the surface quality, and therefore the tear layer. The system analyzes the quality of the myers and displays the blue areas as good clear myers. The green and yellow are more distorted and shows poor tear quality or poor surface quality. The system takes a video between blinks and this can be displayed. It will also calculate a tear breakup time, which in this case is 2.5 seconds. It can display tear quality in an easy to digest manner, which can help patients understand their treatment plan and the effect it has. Simulated contact lens fitting can be invaluable for the practitioner and can save time for the patient. They're a great tool to visualize fitting and can help the practitioner learn more about how the lenses fit on the eye. It also illustrates how changing different parameters will affect the fit. Let's look at some examples. Here we've got a topography of a toric cornea and we've told the system that we want to fit a contact lens. There are a number of lens designs loaded into the system. Here we're going to use a lens design called Quasar SV. We're going to input the refraction. It's important to include the vertex distance. The system will then generate the best fit. We can then mess around with the parameters. As you can see in this dialog box, we can change the central sag from standard. We can then change the diameter of the lens itself. As we change the diameter, we can see the fluorescein fitting pattern changes. At the bottom, we have a cross-sectional area of fluorescein. This gives you the depth for the fluorescein at that angle. This white line across the cornea can be moved around the 360 degree graticule to show the different fluorescein patterns in different cross-sectional areas of the lens. As we change the parameters, you can see the fluorescein pattern change. As we increase the lens diameter, the fluorescein pattern appears to be slightly steeper. There is more fluorescein under the lens. As we make the lens smaller, the lens gets flatter. We can then change the back optic zone radius, and that has more effect, and we can see the pattern changing. As you can see on the best mean fit of this lens, we can see a slight toric banding, a darker area along the horizontal meridian, which is the steepest part of the cornea. And if we take the toric dialog box, the pattern then changes to a more aligned fit. We can take the system's own default lens, or we can change it depending on the patient's needs. We can then take the parameters written down in the dialog box on the right hand side and then send them to the lab for manufacture. Here we have Menicon's Easy Fit software. This is another useful piece of software for empirical contact lens fitting. It's used to aid the practitioner in fitting their RGP, soft, ortho K, and irregular lenses. Here we've imported some topography from a patient. We've entered the refraction and the horizontal visible iris diameter. We then select a lens, and in this case, we purposefully fitted a spherical lens on a toric cornea. As you move the mouse over the estimated fluorescein of the fitting, you can see the software shows how the lens should move. We can then change the lens design, and on this piece of software, you can see the system has given it a star rating as to which is the best fitting lens for this cornea. In this case, it's a back surface toric. When we do this, the simulated fluorescein fit improves significantly. We can then start adjusting the fit to steepen the lens in the flat and steep meridians. The software does highlight the figures in red if it feels that the fitting is too steep or flat. These are warnings inherent in the software. We can then fit soft lenses and it will highlight which of these would be better for this cornea. When dealing with an irregular cornea, we can try the rose K. Not all of these lenses will give you a simulated fluorescein fit. 
It's only for some RGB lenses, but the software does help you pick the best first fit lens for all of these lens types. You can simulate how the lens would move when on the eye. If we change it to a steep curvature, you can see it moves differently. This can be useful to get a sense of how the lens will fit in real life, but bear in mind the software can't account for lid interaction. This skills guide is adapted from original content by Drew Thompson. You can find his full CPD video, Soft and RGP Contact Lens Fitting Pearls, in the OT Education Library. You can find links to this in the description, as well as links to our other contact lens fitting skills guides.